Hey guys, ¿cómo están? Man, it's been some time since I posted something. For the people who watch my latest speed draw, you know I took a little break to visit Los Angeles for the first time ever to attend the CTN Expo. For those who don't know, the CTN is the largest animation convention in the US. Freelancers, industry people, and artists from all trades and parts of the world together under one roof for three days to enjoy panels, merch, and to get to know each other. So, as you can expect, I was very excited to go. Young artist, fresh out of college, attending the biggest con in her trade. Visiting LA for the first time ever. Man, I was going to enjoy it so much. So the day comes, I get my bags ready, I have everything I need. Night comes, and just a few hours before I had to head out for the airport, major anxiety attack. Yeah, fun. So there I was in my dad's car on our way to the airport trying to calm down. I'm not really gonna go into detail as to what caused me anxiety because that's for another re video. My dad kept trying to calm me down and to keep my mind busy but I just couldn't answer him because I was concentrating on my breathing. When we arrived, my anxiety had started to finally subside. I was very tired, but it felt good to finally feel a little more loose. Once I passed through the security and boarded the plane, I was finally okay. I had met up with my two other companions, so that kept my mind busy. First flight was okay. I slept most of the ride, so it didn't really feel that long. Second flight was okay too. Nothing out of the ordinary and more sleeping. When we landed in LA, I was very tired and hungry, but excited for the adventure to come. We met up with the rest of our group and made a stop at USC LA to check it out. It is there where I began to feel weird. At first I thought, you're tired, you haven't eaten yet, you haven't eaten well either, and you're just getting used to the climate, you'll be fine. Until we got to the apartment. As the hours went by, I realized I was not getting better. To spare you some gross details, after a trip to the bathroom, that's when I realized I was a little worse than I imagined. The rest of the group was getting ready to go out on their first night to eat the best burgers in town, according to our group leader. Sadly, I had to tell them that I was not feeling all too well and that I had to call it a night. The main focus of my trip was the con and I had three days to get better and rest for it. So that's what I intended to do. Greater forces had other plans. On that night, I remember trying to get comfy and sleep, but I got extremely hot under the covers and super cold anytime my upper body poked out. I'm talking shivering, teeth clattering, the whole deal. The next day, I woke up feeling a lot better. I thought, yep, it was just exhaustion and anxiety. The day started good. Me and two other friends visited DreamWorks Animation Studio, where the leader of our group works. It was amazing. Walking around the cubicles of animators working on films not yet even teased, admiring the gardens and outdoor places for the employees to relax, having lunch with them, amazing. All around, amazing. We said goodbye. I had stars in my eyes. Got to the apartment, rested up a little, Friends wants to go out and I joined them. After a while, I started to feel sick. Really sick. After a trip to the restroom, I finally came out to the conclusion that I was actually sick. This was no exhaustion or anxiety. I was full blown, stomach trashed, sick. In LA, days before the CTN. <laughs> yeah. It was a horrible night for me. I was happy my friends were enjoying themselves, but I just couldn't keep up with them. By the time we sat down at a cheesecake factory, I was shivering, coming and going from the bathroom and just generally being a buskill to my poor friends. I kept looking on Google for possible reasons for how I was feeling and what to eat on an upset stomach. And then it hit me. I got food poisoning from the plane's food. So now I knew what to do, I knew what I had, but I still had to deal being in a cold environment with limited options. I remembered that was the worst I felt. I was sitting at our table in the Cheesecake Factory and shaking uncontrollably. I couldn't even eat half of the mashed potatoes I ordered. 
By the end of the night, the waitress brought me some chamomile tea. That warmed me up a bit and made me feel much better. All the poison inside of me had already been expelled. On the way back to the apartment, I felt more at peace. The next day we visited Disney Animation Studios. I felt a little better, but I knew I wasn't out of the woods. Still, I was gonna power through. It was Disney Studios after all. Our friend that works there toured us through the building and we got to meet some awesome people. I also saw Eric Goldman in the hallway and freaked out. Later, I actually built up the courage to go talk to him and it was amazing. But right after that, I got sick. Again. Twice. You know, I never would have thought I would have gotten sick at Disney Animation Studios. I guess life surprises you in weird ways sometimes. So then, CTN started and I went. For three days, I went to panels, met people, ran to the bathroom, met Henry Selick, ran to the bathroom, had an interview, ran to the bathroom, met Jorge R. Gutierrez, ran to the bathroom, got a poster signed by all the directors of Prince of Egypt, ran to the bathroom, met a longtime artist friend who now works at Disney, ran to the bathroom, you get the idea. On the last day of CTN, I was feeling much better. I had lost weight and still felt a little weird, but I was confident that I was on the last stages of sickness. It was during the last panel I attended that things got bad again. I had to excuse myself from the panel twice, and it was very frustrating. As the CTN came to a close, I rounded up my companions and just broke down a little. I wasn't sad because I couldn't do as much as I wanted on this trip. It was more of a frustration of not being able to experience this as I wanted to. It's not like I didn't do amazing things, I, I did, but I wanted to do them feeling like myself. And sadly, I couldn't. I made the decision to upgrade my flights back home to business class. It was a lot of money, but at that point I felt too frail for 16 hours of being crammed in coach. It also gave me a sense of security and of control. I was doing all I could not to be taken by my anxiety. I had three more days before we had to go back home. I spent the day after CTN resting in bed and taking it easy. My remaining companions aided in keeping my anxiety at bay by keeping me company in my room. By that night, I felt much, much better. The next day we all went to the mall and I went ham at Hot Topic. I got my friends hooked up too. The day after that, we visited this amazing music store. And then, to close everything up, Walmart. <laughs> yeah, I know, kind of uneventful, but we don't have Walmart where I'm from, so it's a lot of fun for us. After that, there's only waiting, plane, more waiting, second plane, and then home. Finally, warm, beautiful, fresh air, gorgeous home. All in all, it was a good trip. I could have done better without the food poisoning, but the important thing is that I did it. I went to Los Angeles on my own, with my own money. I met incredible people. I got excellent responses to my work that only made me more confident in the path I chose for myself. Things are looking up. I guess I expected more? Being such a huge milestone in my life, it sounds crazy to want more, but I guess that's the healthy thing to want to try harder and to check out new things. I guess that's part of growing up. There's a few other things I probably missed telling you about, but this video has to end somewhere. CTN was a good experience altogether, and you better believe I'll be back next time at my 100%.